A trio of intrepid players are about to face our machine for her £10,000 prize. Will anyone take home the jackpot today? Let's find out on Tipping Point. Hello and welcome to Tipping Point. Three players will be facing our machine and they're all hoping to win thousands today. So, let's meet them. I'm Jess, a mental health practitioner from Essex. I'm Lewis, a university sports officer from Pontypridd. And I'm Jackie, a civil servant from Barnsley. Good luck to you all. Let's play Tipping Point. In round one, you each start with three counters. Questions are on the buzzer. If you buzz in and give me a correct answer, you'll have a choice to make. You can either choose to play one of your counters into the machine, or if you think the machine isn't quite ready, you can get one of your opponents to play one of theirs instead. Most of the counters you get out of the machine will add £50 to your score. That includes our mystery counters, which, of course, come with a bonus prize. But also nestled in the machine, we do have two double counters. One of those falls for you. It will double the entire value of your drop. And should one fall with the jackpot counter at the end of the game, you'll be leaving £20,000 richer. Now, all three of you will be going through to play round two, but you'll want to bank as much money as you can throughout the game. So do keep an eye on those double counters, because they could make all the difference. Everybody ready? Yep. Here comes your first Thank question. You. Inaugurated in 2021, the first woman vice president of the United States of America is Kamala who? <laughs> Jess. Harris. It is, yes, Kamala Harris. Well done, Jess. You got the first question right, so you can make the first choice. Would you like to pass to Lewis or to Jackie, or would you like to play it yourself? I would like to go for drop zone one, please. Let's have a crack on drop zone one. Good luck, Jess. Thank you. Yeah. Come on, Jess. Oh. Rattly drop. Stays on its edge, Jess. Let's see if we can get this flat. The flat? Yes, we are. Okay. Now, it could come for the double if it gets over the top shelf. Get it squeezed forward. Come on up. Oh. Couple there. Anything here for you? Yes, 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 yeah! Oh, nicely well done, done, Jess. Well done, Jess. Thank Never you. easy to get the first one to play out. Three counters for you there. £150. Let's take that and put it into your bank. And you've still got two counters left to play. Very nice start. Thank you. Next question. Originating from China, silver needle and oolong are varieties of which hot beverage? Lewis. Tea? They are, yes, varieties of tea. Nicely done. Get in. Right, Lewis, do you want to play or do you want to pass? I'm going to pass, I think. Jess, you can have another okay. go. Thank right, you. Jess, <laughs> up your step again. OK, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with drop zone one, please. One again, please. <laughs> Lewis isn't brave enough to give it a go. Let's see. <laughs> Thank you. What you got here, Jess? <laughs> another one that didn't want to settle down okay. for me. We get it flat. Yep. Yeah. Now, we need a bit of lateral on this, cos there's a gap on the tipping point. Is it going to move? If it comes over the top shelf. Now, oh, they separate oh. nicely. Just slides underneath. And... Well oh, done. Well done. Well done. Another four for you, Jess. <laughs> Charming you. our machine. Decision. £200 for those four. Let's take that from the machine and put it straight in your bank. It's going to put you on £350 with one counter still to play. Next question. Cologne is the fourth most popular city of which European... <laughs> Lewis. Germany. Country, it is Germany, yes. Right, how are you feeling now, Lewis? I'll go drop zone one as well, please. You're going to drop zone one? Yeah, I think so. Interesting. All right, drop zone one, please. So Jess just cleared out the tipping point. Are you going for it again? Look at that double. If you get that, though, Lewis, it'd be well worth it, wouldn't it? Not far off. Nice, yes, good timing. On that right hand side, is that Come the side on. you wanted it? Yeah, nice yeah. and flat. You've got no idea, have you? <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Here we go. So you push as well. Oh, maybe the. Yes, is it going to work? Oh. Oh. Nothing comes out, Lewis. Got this back to front. Yeah. Uh, you still got two counters to play there. Here's your next question. According to the phrase, what weather phenomenon is a person stealing if they take credit or praise away from someone else? Jackie. The thunder. Their thunder is right, Jackie. Jack. Yes. Do you want to play or pass? I'm going to go for drop zone two, please. Drop zone two for Jackie. Yeah. Going for the mystery. Yeah, that mystery is one on the top shelf. One on the bottom. It's the right side, isn't it? If Come get on. It down. It goes flat. Yeah, yes. there we go. Come on. Can we get something over the top shelf? 
Oh. Yes, yeah, just. And will the mystery go for you? Oh. No. Oh. So nothing from your first counter. Here's your next question. The 2020 album Songs From My Heart is by Britain's Got Talent judge Amanda who? Jess. Amanda Holden. Amanda Holden is absolutely right. Are you going to play, Jess, your last counter? Drop Zone 2, please. Drop Zone 2 it is. Nice. Ooh. The right side. You're showing the other two how it's done so far, <laughs> Jess. You can do it again here. Oh, yeah, wow. you are. Yeah, well, done. well done. Well done. Six counters this time, including the two that jumped out of the machine. That's £300. <laughs> Let's put that into your bank. It's going to leave you on £650. One of them is a mystery prize as well. Jess, you've won yourself a bottomless brunch for two people, courtesy of bruncher.com. That's amazing. <laughs> Thank That'll you. That'll be super. You've used all three counters, though, so for the time being, you are out. Mm -hmm. Right then, Lewis and Jackie, just the two of you left in now. You've both got two counters left to play each. Next question. A tubular clothing accessory called a muff is traditionally used to keep which parts of the human... Jackie. Hands. Human body warm. It is the hands. Yes, nicely done, Jackie. Jack. Would you like to play, Jackie, or would you like to pass the loose? I'm going to try Drop Zone 2 again, please, Ben. Let's give it another. Drop Zone 2, please. There, now, a bit more central for you, Jackie. What do you reckon? I don't know. Is it going to go flat, do you think? Yes. yes. Definitely flat. This could be nice. There's a couple dangling on the edge. Come on. Yep. Oh. Do you hear? Anything going to go? Oh, oh. well, one's better than nothing. There, those <laughs> other two are just having a little think about it, see if the shelf gives them a little help when it comes back forward. £50 it is, Jackie. Well Better done, though. We've got you something from the machine. It puts a bit more pressure on Lewis when we put it into your bank. Thank you. You've got one counter still to play. Next question for Lewis and Jackie. According to the Bible, Jesus used two of which marine animal to feed the 5,000? Jackie. Fish. Yes. Now, one last counter. Do you want to play or do you want to pass? Drop zone two again, please, Ben. Let's light up two, please. A bit rapid. It was. <laughs> if we can get it settled, there's a nice stack on the tipping point that could go here for you, oh, Jackie. Come on. come on then, let's get over there. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Can we get it moving? Yeah, we oh, can. Really nice yeah. done, Thank Jackie. You. Four counts. That's more like it, isn't it? Yeah. 200 pounds right there. Let's take that from the machine. Put it straight in your bank, and that's going to leave Thank you on you. 250 pounds. You have used all three counts now, yeah. Jackie. So for the time being, you're out. Lewis, it's just you. Okay. Don't need to use your buzzer. You do need to give me the correct answer to both these questions to put those counters into the machine. Here's your first one. Born in 1820, the celebrated nurse who came to prominence serving in the Crimean War was Florence who? Nightingale. Yep, no problems with that one. Let's get you some money if we can. What are you thinking? Drop zone two, please, Ben. Let's have drop zone two, please. I need to get you in the game you can if you do can. It. Oh, wow, spinning really? out. Is that too far right? OK, they've separated. That Good could one. work for you. A bit of border shove. That's like it. Well done. Five yeah. counters, yeah. Lewis. So £250, enough to draw you level with Jackie. Let's put it into your bank. And you've got one last question to answer. Again, you've got to give me the correct answer to put it into the machine. Here we go, then. What unit is used to measure the purity of gold? Carrot. Yes. Got it in just in time, Lewis. So one last count to put in. If you can get eight out, you'll catch Jess. I think I'll stick with drop zone two and hope it goes over to the right-hand side. OK, drop zone two. All right. Yeah. Oh, Christ. Looks like she heard you. <laughs> now, can we bring that mystery down? That's what you want over. Yes. Is it Go going on. to be far enough right? Anything. You're just going to fill a gap. Oh, Two well peel done, themselves well off. Done. Just put your head of Jackie. Doesn't <sighs> quite catch Jess. £100, let's take that from the machine and put it into your bank. And at the end of the round, Jess is leading with £650. Lewis is in second with £350, just ahead of Jackie on £250. So join us after the break to see which of today's three players will win through to our head-to-head -head in a shot. 
at our £10,000 jackpot. See you in a bit. If you'd like a brand new Tipping Point experience, then why not try Tipping Point Blast? You can download it on Google Play and the App Store for free and play wherever you are, whenever you like. Welcome back to Tipping Point, where Jess, Lewis and Jackie are all battling out for the right to play for today's jackpot. Now, in this round, they'll each have 45 seconds to answer as many questions as possible. Every time they get an answer correct, they've got a counter to play into the machine. However, this time, the player with the lowest score at the end of the round will be eliminated from the game. Uh, Jess, you are leading after round one, so you get to choose. Would you like to play first? Would you like to ask Lewis or Jackie to play? I think I'm going to play, please. Then. Right then. 45 seconds for you, Jess. Every time you get a question mark, give you a counter. If you don't know, just say pass, all right? Yeah. 45 seconds of chess, please. Your time starts now. In the nursery rhyme, Hey Diddle Diddle, the cow jumped over which celestial object? Correct. The 2020 documentary, Robin's Wish, is about which comedian and Mrs Doubtfire actor? Uh, Robin Williams. Correct. A sharabang was an early example of what motorised passenger vehicle? Pass. A bus. According to Forbes, which tennis player was the highest paid male athlete in the world in 2020? Nadal. Roger Federer. The name of the UK political party, often shortened to Lib Dems, is Liberal what? Democrat. Correct. The Quantocks and Black Down Hills are both designated areas of outstanding natural beauty in which country of the UK? England. Correct. George IV was the monarch of the United Kingdom in which century? Uh, 16. 19. The SASR is the Special Forces Unit of which Commonwealth country? Oh. It's Australia. Uh, four correct answers in there, Jess. Mm -hmm. Not too bad. Four Thank counts you. put into the machine. Where would you like to start with your first counter? Drop zone two, please, Ben. Let's have drop zone two, please. <laughs> Could be nice. Yeah. Good, right on that black position. counter. Go flat. Ooh, yep. Down and flat. Let's see. Can we get those two Push down? Over. Oh, yes, oh. Jess. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, nice broad shot for you there, Jess. Wow. Oh, Great nice start. Well done. Including the one that jumped out of the machine, Jess, that's six across the tipping point. Very nice start. Okay. Where would you like to go next? I'm going to go with drop zone three now, please. I'm going to try over there. Let's move to three, please. Oh. Just stop oh. for a moment. Your ghost drop. Get that one over. Perfectly balanced. Yeah. Is this where you wanted it, Jess? Not really, but let's see. No. Just no. Okay. 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 making it look more attractive now. Right, you've got two left. I'm going to stick with drop zone three and see if I can just get those ones over. Drop zone three it is. Okay. Down, so rapid drop. That looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. Nice little... Over the like... top, yeah, a couple here. They'll go oh, now. We're going to go. Yeah. 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 So, Jackie thinks they are. Ooh. Wow. So, you had a couple out of two as well okay. that have been waiting to go. Five more for you, Jess. Another £250. Oh, yes. Thank Up you. Up to £550. I've got one more to put into the machine. I'm going to stick with drop zone three. See if Let's I can get something Stay more with out of three it. for Jess, please. Thank you. Whips down. Oh. More yeah. central. Can we nice. get it over? That double. Are they going to go? Oh, no. no. <laughs> Just going to wait perched on the edge of drop zone three on that top <laughs> shelf. And not on the bottom. But £550 isn't too bad. Let's take that from the machine and put it into your bank. That's going to leave you £1,200. Very you. nicely done, Jess. Well done, Jess. Right, Lewis, you are just £100 ahead of Jackie, so it's your choice. You could choose to play first or you could ask Jackie to play if you think the machine's not quite ready. The last time I passed, it backfired. I think I'm going to play. OK. 45 seconds for Lewis, please. Your time starts now. How many legs does a garden spider typically have? Eight. Correct. In 2020, the British stand-up comedian who released a Netflix special called Showman was Michael who? Boyle. McIntyre. Bella di Cerignola is an Italian variety of which stone fruit? Cherry. Olive. Prior to decimalisation in 1971, how many shillings were equal to one British pound? Ten. Twenty. Union and league are both forms of which team Rugby. sport? Correct. What is the first name of the Coronation Street character who opened a flower shop called Preston's Petals in 2016? Jeff. Tracy. Which English artist painted the work known as The Blue Boy? Don't know. Thomas Gainsborough. Discovered in 1655, what is the second largest known moon in our solar system? Titan. Correct. Which Harry Potter star plays Tim Jenkins in the 2020 film Escape? Out of time, sadly. 
which Harry Potter star plays Tim Jenkin in the 2020 film Escape from Pretoria? Pass. Daniel Radcliffe. Oh, of course. Great film as well. Uh, three correct answers there, Lewis. Three counters to try and do some damage. OK. To reel in Jess and maybe extend your lead over Jackie as well. I think I'm going to play three, because there's a few overhanging on the bottom there and on the top. OK, let's do three. Double and one's been there a long time and yeah. no one's been tempted because all the others look good. And three certainly does this time. Get that. Yeah, and it's flat. It's OK, I think. Come on, squeeze really that double down over. on three. Go on. Oh! oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't go right. now. Very full. Two more to go, Lewis. Yeah, drop some three again, definitely. Three again, please. Surely this time. Could be a big drop if we get a lot over. Hopefully. A bit more central hit on those silver counters. Yeah, right down, right down the middle. That was rapid. Please. OK, now, how does this go? Could push a few over, hopefully. Yes, there oh, you go, okay. two and three. Please, well please, 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 go on. Oh, oh, oh that's nice. oh. <laughs> Nine counters, Lewis, very nice. Brilliant. Worth persevering with. £450. You've also got a mystery prize pop up and land in the wind zone as well. You won a narrow boat parade courtesy of Black Prince Holiday. Brilliant. Oh. My wife will be chuffed with that. Good Fantastic. stuff. Thank you. Uh, one more count to put in here then. So where'd you fancy putting this one? Drop zone three, please, Ben. Let's do drop zone three. Jackie's waiting to pounce on any mistakes here. In the middle or on the right. No. Not there. Right in a hole. You never know. Go on. Go on. Oh, the <laughs> last thing you need was to fill the gap. But £450 isn't too bad. Let's take it and put it into your bank. It's going to leave you on £800. Lovely. Right, Jackie, we come to you. 45 seconds for Jackie, please. Your time starts now. Shaggy mane and pig's ear are common names given to varieties of which edible fungus? Mushrooms. Correct. New Amsterdam and New Orange are both former names for which large... New York. Correct. The butler Stefano and the jester Trinculo are washed up on an island after a storm in which Shakespeare play? The Tempest. Correct. Which US singer known for hits such as Deuce studied classical flute performance at the University of Houston? Pass. Lizzo. Golf, Polo and Tiguan are all produced by which car manufacturer? Volkswagen. Correct. Which ex-Liverpool footballer and TV pundit is a regular team captain on the Sky One panel show A League of Their Own? Oh, Jamie Redknapp. Correct. In woodworking, dovetail, biscuit and half-lap are all kinds of what? Joints of wood. In 2006, Stephen Harper became the 22nd Prime Minister of which Commonwealth country? Australia. Canada. Didn't need it, Jackie. Wow. Wow. Well done, Jackie. Six correct answers. That question you jumped in earlier on New Amsterdam and New Orange are both former names of which large US city? You're absolutely bang on with New York. You've got six counters. Your first challenge is to try and catch Lewis. He's 11 counters ahead of you. Where would you like to start with your first counter? I'll go drop zone one, please. All right, drop zone one, please. Come on. <laughs> Not competitive at all. Let's get it flat first. Yes. It is flat. <laughs> Right, let's see if we can get you some money. Start chipping away at this lead. You've certainly got enough to do it. Oh, that's better. Could get a couple here for you, Jackie. Or they oh. might just make you wait. Squeezing them forward. Five more still to go. Staying with one? I think so, yes, please. One again, please. It is the same place, yeah, you're right, Lewis. I know. I've got to think about that corner. <laughs> it's a good spot to be in, right over that side. Got a few over there, Jack, I think. Yeah, there Come goes. Three or four, Two maybe. spinning round. Let's get some into the wind zone if we can. Nice. Done. Done. Four counters, Jack. £200. You're on your way. We're looking for seven um, to catch Lewis now. What are you thinking? Drop zone one again, Stay please. Staying with one. Fire it up, please. A bit further right to hit the double, just the right centre. I'm just excited if I get it down the uh, actual shoot. <laughs> That's nice. That could be good if it's flat. It's not going to ride, is it? It does oh. ride, yes. I'm lucky. You saw that one coming. Come on now, Jackie. I know. Still got three more to go. Still got plenty of counters left. Do you keep going? Do you change it up? What are you thinking? 
let's stick with one. One again, please. Please. Get your timing on this. No yeah. riders. That's better. Good job. Good job. Good job. Get out. Oh. He oh, wants again. to go down that corner again. It does. <laughs> Right. It's flat. Oh, it's flat. Now, there's a couple yeah, on the top shelf that could separate here that would help. There you go. Split. Oh. There you go. And a good squeeze. Oh! oh. <laughs> oh Jackie. Unlucky, Jackie. Two more. We've come this far. We've got to go with one, haven't we? Just Can we go one again, with one, please? please? I don't want to waste them. Let's get it flat. Be flat. Be flat. Place if it's flat. It oh, is flat. It's flat. That is a nice place. This could be it, Jack. Do you think? It could be. He's got to get those. a good squeeze. I'm not sure you get enough. Come on. Just oh. let them. Wow, this is agonisingly close. <laughs> so, Jackie, one more. We need to get seven to catch Lewis. Four with a double. It's there. It's all there. Come on. <laughs> right, let's um, go for drop zone one, please. Drop zone one it is. Put your timing right here, Jackie. No, oh, don't. A bit further right. Could be Jack. Could be this flat. Isn't a, if I it's don't flat, think it's going to be flat. It is flat. Oh, it is flat. Now, can you get enough of a squeeze to get those few on that side over the top shelf? Good luck. No, oh, oh, no! Would you believe it? <laughs> oh, Jackie, it's not going to be enough to catch Lewis. Let's take that two hundred pounds from the machine and put it into your bank. And we've come to the end of the round. Jess is leading with £1,200. Lewis goes through with £800. Jackie, I'm so sorry, that means with £450. It's been brilliant, <laughs> but we have found your tipping point. Thank you for playing. Thank you. Thanks for having it's me. Been it's been an absolute great. treat. Thanks, Jackie. So it's Jess and Lewis who will be going head-to-head -head after the break for the right to play for our £10,000 jackpot. See you in a couple of minutes. <laughs> Welcome back to Tipping Point, where just two players remain, Jess and Lewis. Well done to both of you for getting this far. We're Thank about you. to find out which one he's going to take on the machine for our jackpot today. In this round, you're each going to be asked three questions alternately. On your question, you can choose to answer. You can pass it to your opponent. If you give me a correct answer, you put the counter into the machine. If you give me a wrong answer, your opponent puts the counter into the machine. Okay. Whoever has the most money at the end of this round will be today's winner. Jess, as you are leading, you get to choose. Would you like the question or would you like to offer it to Lewis? There's a lot in drop zone one. It wasn't kind to Jackie, but I'd like to try. Yeah, it can't resist something. any longer, surely. Yeah. Here comes your question then, Jess. Who was the sixth and final wife of King Henry VIII? You can play or pass this to Lewis if you're not sure. I think I know this one. I'm going back to GCSE history. Okay. I think I remember it. Um, just thinking, was it Catherine Howard or Catherine Parr? I think. I'm going to go with Catherine Parr. Going with Catherine Parr. OK. Lewis, what would you have said? Yeah, Catherine Parr sounds like a <laughs> brilliant answer to me. Yeah, I wouldn't have had a clue. Question is, Jess, have you found the right Catherine? Have you found the right wife? Is the answer Catherine Parr? Yeah, yeah. absolutely right. Well done, you, it's Jess. one of them too. Right, let's get you some money. Where do you want to go? Drop zone one, please, Ben. Will it finally buckle? Buy one up. Let's try. Two off. Double goes. So close. It's been there for such a long time. Nice. Ooh. OK. You couldn't have put that any better. No, I think you're right. Really oh, oh. Goodness me. That could get enough to get the double out, Looks too. Good. This could be really big. Oh. Hey, well done, oh. Jess. Amazing. Eight counts across the tipping point, which is £400. And, of course, one of them's the double, so we can double it up and give you another £400. All there, just needed enough encouragement. Well done, Jess. I said that £800, put it into your bank. Jess, that puts you on £2,000. Lewis, we come to you. Time for your first question. Brian Adams co-wrote the music and lyrics for a 2018 Broadway musical based on which Julia Roberts film? You can play or pass this if you're not sure. I'm not 100%, so I'm going to have to pass. Passing it over? Yes. Right, Jess, can you steal this one? Any thoughts, any ideas? There's one that springs to mind that I know is a Julia Roberts film and I know was recently made into a musical. Yeah. I am going to guess Pretty Woman. Pretty Woman. Lewis, what were you thinking? Now Jess has said Pretty Woman. Yeah, it does ring a bell. OK, Jess, it certainly sounds plausible. Is it Pretty Woman? Yeah, Ooh, great answer, Jess. Thank you. Certainly in control. Where are you going to go? 
It's looking heavy in drop zone three. It was also a double there. I'm going to go with drop zone three, please, Ben. Let's have drop zone three. Yeah, nice quick drop. That's bang on it as well, isn't it? it right over. through the middle. Oh, my God. And all these counters yeah. have been waiting to go. Oh, <laughs> There's still some more to come, I think, as that oh, shelf wow. comes back forward. Well the double oh. wants to get in on oh. the axe. Well done, it resists, Jess. though. Nicely wow. done, Jess. Thank you. Jess, 11, including the one that jumped out of the machine. All on the steel as well, £550. We put it into your bank, takes you to £2,550. You keep control as well, Jess. Time for your second question. Which word for the hindquarters of a pig also means a performer who overacts or exaggerates. I don't know if Lewis is going to know that or not, but I definitely don't, so I'm going to pass it over to Lewis, please, Ben. Right, we really could do with this, Lewis. We need something. I don't know. I couldn't even guess. The hind. I don't know. Hind? You're going with the hind? Jess, if anything comes to mind for you? I would have guessed a bacon. Bacon? <laughs> oh, those no performers. Idea. He's a right bacon, that one. <laughs> Lewis, we need this. He's gone with the hind. Surprise. Ham. Oh, ham. of course it is. When you ham it up, rugby oh, players, yeah, yeah, footballers, yeah, 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 yeah. over-exaggerating, yeah. over-performing, they ham it up. They do. OK. They do. I feel like I'm hamming it up now. <laughs> uh, Jess, you get another counter. Okay. So, let's put another one in. I'm going to go with drop zone one, please, Ben, to see if I can get that one that's hanging over. OK, so drop, drop zone, zone one. one please. Let's do it. Jackie's counter, she's still left for you to plunder. Yeah, could be good. Oh, could have done well? without settling, couldn't we? No, black counter might cause you a problem. Oh, you're yeah. okay. Collect a couple here. Extend your lead. Nice. There There's a few on the edge, um, isn't there? Let's get those over. Are they gonna go? Yeah, they do. Two counters for you there, Jess. Another hundred pounds. Let's take that from the machine and put it into your bank. Put you on two thousand six hundred and fifty pounds. Well right, Lewis, you get control. Time for your second question. Awarded to the winner of an annual rugby union match between England and Scotland, the Calcutta Cup features what type of animal on its lid? Do you like rugby? Being Welsh, you would have thought I'd love rugby. Football is my thing. You can pass this over to Jess and let her try and find the answer. I, I've got something in the back of my mind, but it, it would be a guess. So I'm going to pass to Jess with my fingers crossed. <laughs> Jess, do you like your rugby? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here's I've the never thing. watched a rugby game in my life. <laughs> here's the question. Awarded to the winner of an annual rugby union match between England and Scotland, the Cal Cutter Cup features what type of animal on its lid? The only thing that's coming to mind is maybe a stag, and that's a complete guess. Complete okay. guess, but I'm going to go with a stag. Going to go with stag? Yeah. Lewis, what might you have gone with? Calcutta Cup? Maybe a lion. Yeah. I've, it would have been a total guess. Yeah. I, I don't okay. know. Calcutta Cup. There is an animal on the lid. If it's a stag, Jess, you steal the counter. If it's not Lewis, finally we've got something in this round. Is the answer a stag? I it's not, it no, be. it's an elephant. So the cow cutter oh. cup is given to the winner of the England versus Scotland match in the Six Nations. Lewis, you finally got a counter. Finally. How many do I need? Just the 37. What do you reckon? I think I'm going to go for drop zone four. Let's do it. Four up, please. Go on in. 37. That's it. OK, so Watch. we've got it nice and flat. Delivery's good. Couple over the top, yeah, lovely. Here we go. Anything gonna go? Oh, oh unlucky. No, not just yet. Right, Jess, we come back to you. Time for your third and final question. By area, what is the largest landlocked country in the world? Okay. A couple are springing to mind. I'm just trying to think, are they landlocked? Mm. I think Lewis will know this. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a go. I'm gonna play, please, Ben. Okay. The two I was thinking between are Russia and China. I am going to guess China, please. Going with China, all yeah. right. Uh, Lewis, largest landlocked country in the world. I would have said Russia. 
Jess has gone with China. If you're right, Jess, you get the counter. If you're wrong, Lewis gets it. Is the answer China? No, they've both got very large coastlines, haven't they? Russia and yeah. China, they're on the coast. It's Kazakhstan is, in fact, the largest thought. landlocked country. Uh, so you get the counter, Lewis. Bit more action for you. Where do you want to go? Four. Job so four. Yeah. Fire it up. Good. It's loaded up on the bottom. Fingers crossed, let's have a big one now. Come on, Ed. Yeah. Right, it's flat. It's a 37 down there, Ben. Plenty. Definitely. Oh, you're going to get them. <laughs> 37. Three and seven. Go on. Five counters for you, Lewis. We're on the way. £250. Let's take that from the machine and put it into your bank. So it puts you on £1,050. Finally got you some money in this round. Good. Here's your last question. In which year did Boris Johnson famously get stuck on a zip wire during a visit to London's Victoria Park? Can't remember about the zip wire. So, do you want to pass it to Jess? Do you think she will? I'm going to have to. You've got to be pretty precise with this to remember this. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to have to pass, yeah. Jess, do you remember the moment? I've seen the pictures. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't really know. I'm going to guess um, 2012. Good guess. Complete guess. Any reason you've gone for 2012? I think I was at uni. Lewis, any other reason why it might have been 2012? Olympics in 2012. Oh, yeah. 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 She's right, isn't she? She's not been very wrong, <laughs> let's be honest. <laughs> Jess, if you're right, you are, without doubt, going to be playing for our jackpot. If you're wrong, Lewis has got one last crack for hope of a miracle. Let's see if you're right. Is the answer 2012? Yeah. He was attempting well to done. promote London's attractions oh, wow. uh, during the Olympics. And, and Victoria Park is right next to the Olympic Park as well Thank in East London. Sense. Jess, very well done. It's a great Thank answer. You. It also means you're going to be playing for our jackpot. Sadly, Lewis will be losing you at the end of this round. One more count for you here, though, Jess. Where do you want to put it? Let's go drop zone four, please, Ben. Let's have four, please. Imagine if 32 came out there. <laughs> yeah, nice, quick drop and a good settle. Can I get it over the top? Oh. Yes. Oh. Come on now. A couple maybe. Some. Two more drop for you there, Jess. Another £100. Thank you. Let's take that £100 put it into your bank. And at the end of the round, our winner today with £2,750 is Jess. Very nicely done, Jess. That's a really good score. Well done to you. Lewis, it's been great fun, but I'm afraid with £1,050, we have found your tip point. Of course, you have won your narrow boat holiday. Yeah. Uh, thanks that. so much for playing, Lewis. Thank you. Uh, so, Jess, as our champion, in a few moments, I'm going to ask you to put this chatbot counter into the machine. Now, this one is bigger and better than all the others, because you get this one out, you're going to go home with £10,000. Can Jess master the machine by finding its chatbot tipping point? We'll find out after the break. Welcome back to the final part of Tipping Point. Jess is our winner today and has managed to get £2,750, which is a lovely amount of money. Well done. Thank you. You've sailed through. You've been brilliant. You've controlled the machine. Now it's just you and the chance to win our jackpot. Have you thought about what you might like to do with the money, Jess? My boyfriend and I just bought our first house. Ah, congratulations. Um, so we spent some money doing some renovations, getting some new furniture and things like Lovely. that. Lovely. Yeah. Fantastic stuff. Well, look, if we can get you £10,000, maybe even £20,000, you could do some really, really lovely things with that. So best of luck. Thank you. Time to find out whether Jess is going to win our jackpot. In a few moments, I'm going to ask you to put the jackpot counter into the machine. If you want to go home with £10,000, you just need to get it out again. If you want to go home with twenty grand, so you can get it to drop with the double that's still there. Here's how you're going to do it. I'm going to show you six question categories. Each category, you can choose to play one, two or three counts into the machine. The more you play for, the harder the question's going to be. The more you win, the better your chances of getting the jackpot counter out. OK. So what are you thinking then, Jess? Where do you want to put the jackpot counter? The double is tempting. But I'm looking at that top shelf and it's just looking a bit empty. Yeah. So I'm going to go with drop zone four, please, Ben. Let's do it. Five up four, please. There's a lot there, isn't there? Rattles down and settles on the left. It's going to hold its place. Yep, there it does. Now, let's see if we can take some money out to get started, start clearing that bottom shelf. Yeah. Bounce drops in, let's give you that. Takes up to £2,800. And jackpot counter nice and flat on that left-hand side. Drop zone four. Right, let's have a look at your categories. This is what we have for you, Jess. Geography, film, sports, language, human body and music. Play them in any order. So where do you want to start and how many? I'll go top to bottom, please, Ben. So let's start with geography for how many? Geography is really not a strength of mine. Um, 
I'm gonna gonna go midway. I'm gonna go two counters, please, Ben. Just geography for two, please. Which desert stretches across large parts of Mongolia and China? The Mojave, the Antarctic, or the Gobi? Okay, I'm I'm gonna rule out the Antarctic. I'm assuming that's probably in the Antarctic. I've heard of the Gobi. I haven't heard of the other one. Um, so based on that alone, it's a guess. But I'm gonna go with the Gobi, please, Ben. Heard that one. Should we light heard it up? That one. Yes, please. We're gonna go with the Gobi Desert. The Gobi Desert, does it stretch across large parts of Mongolia and China? Is that right? Yeah, well done. The Mojave's in California. Okay. Well done. Two counts to get us started. Drop zone four? Drop zone four, please, Ben. Fire it up, please. Wrong side. Wrong side. Look like it might go that way and then changes its mind. Okay, still got one over. Yeah, and there's a fair few that just start moving forward here. Mm, that's They're just going to sit and wait. Okay. One more. Drop zone four, please, Ben. Four again. Right again. That could be nice. Not for the jackpot, but so for the money on the bottom shelf. Over. Yeah. There we okay. go. This could do it. Move the mystery forward as well. Yeah. Oh, nice, very nice. Job. Twelve for you there. Very nice. Six hundred pounds goes in. Money steams up to three thousand four hundred pounds. Didn't quite get to the jackpot counter, but still early days. Let's go back to the categories. We're heading down the list. Next up is film. I'm going to try. I'm going to try three counters, please. Okay. Film for three, please. Which of these is the title of a 2020 film starring Jessica Chastain as a deadly assassin? Ava, Eve or Ovo? I'm really not sure, Ben. Mm. Um, this is going to be a complete guess. I'm going to go with Eve, please, Ben. Eve. We're going to light up Eve, please. So we went through three counts of question, hoping it would fall our way. Not sure. Is the right answer Eve? Ava. Oh, okay. It was Ava. Okay, let's go back to the categories. Sport. I'm going to go for two. Sport let's for see. Two? Let's see. Sport yeah. for two, please. Two, please, Ben. Which of these was not a contested sport at the 2018 Winter Olympics in South Korea? Figure skating, speed skating, or synchronized skating? Again, this really is um, a guess. My skating knowledge isn't great. <laughs> um, I am going to guess. Synchronised skating, please, Ben. Synchronised? Yeah, but it is a guess. Going to go with synchronised skating, please. Let's see if you're right. Is the answer synchronised skating? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well good done. Guess. Five Lucky figure guess. skating events, 14 speed skating events, no synchronised skating. Eight. It's not an Olympic discipline. Two counters. Well done, Jess. Drop zone four. Drop zone four, please. Light down, please. Yeah, there you That's go. That's where I wanted right. it. Come good. on, stay right on it. Is it going to push it? Oh. oh, no. That little chunk is gone okay. now, but that was making it heavy. Can I get the mystery? It's moving that little okay. Three counts there. Give you £150 for those three. £3,550. One more to put in. Four again, please, Ben. Jump zone four, please. No, we've had not a lot at the jackpot counter. Maybe just going to nibble on the mystery. Over. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to sit and wait a bit longer yeah. as well. OK, back to the categories then, okay. Jess. Halfway. Language, human body, music. I'm going to go with language. Mm -hmm. um, there's no reason for this, but I'm going to go for three counters. Let's do it. Let's, language let's for three, please. It. What is the English name of the animal that is called a volpe in Italian? Fox, chicken, or wasp? I don't think it's chicken, just because I'm thinking about Italian food. I don't think I've seen that on the menu. For some reason, I don't know if it's because of Vixen, Volpe, I'm drawn to fox. So I think if I can try fox, please, Ben. Let's go with fox, please. Volpe in Italian. Would we call it a fox? Yeah, well done. Chicken is polo. And Wasp is Vespa. Oh. Well done. Great work. Three Thanks. counters. Drop zone four. Drop zone four, please. Fire it up. Let's see if we can get it. 
We want to get it moving, don't we? Yeah. Two on the left would be lovely. There you oh, go. Yeah. A bit closer. Don't want to a little nudge it. Yeah, nice, 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 nice. Okay, we've got it to the edge of the shelf. And in goes Mystery Prize with two others. So that's three counts across the tipping point. Let's give you £150 for those three. Up to £3,700. One of them's a Mystery Prize as well. You've won a pair of picnic concert tickets courtesy of the Battle Proms. Wow, thank you. Great Amazing. Stuff. Two more to go in then, Jess. I'm going to stick with four for now, please. Okay, let's turn four, please. Oh, that's wrong side for the jackpot. There's a couple on the edge we can collect. Yeah, and do we hear? Yeah, two more. Another hundred pounds, three thousand eight hundred pounds, and one more to go in. I'm going to try a drop zone three to see if I can nudge it over okay. from the other angle. Let's do it. So drop, drop zone, zone three. three, please. Oh, it's not far away. Let it push it it's over. It's not far away. It's I pushed see. it back. We've got some movement on it, which is no bad thing. Mm -hmm. Not as much as we'd like, but mm. still in good shape. Let's go back to the categories. We've got two left. Human body and music. Human body. I'm trying to think. Um, for my degree, we did a lot of neuroscience. Right, OK, good. Um, we did do some anatomy. Do I know it well enough? <laughs> I don't know. Um, but I'm going to... Take a chance, I'm going to go three counts. Human body for three, please. What is the name of the psychological test that involves interpreting a series of ink blot images? Rorschach test, Turing test, or Bechdel test? My uh, degree's in psychology. <laughs> so uh, I, I think I know this one. That's and I'll relief. be really upset if I don't. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to say then? Um, I'm going to say the first option, the Rorschach test. Going to go with Rorschach test, please. As someone who studied this at university, it's a perfect question. Is the answer Rorschach test? Of course it is. Thank goodness. <laughs> well done. Really nice. Three counters. Drop zone four. Drop zone four, please. Drop zone four. Come on, then. Down that left-hand side. Oh, mm. that side again. Just loses a bit of energy, mm. doesn't it, going down the right? Okay. We'll take those two, though. Let's give you £100. £3,900. Two more to go in, then, Jess. Drop zone four, please. Drop zone four. Come on, let's have that on the left. Yeah. Thanks again. Still over that side. One more that might drop in here. Magic. Another £50. Pounds. £3,950, creeping up towards four grand. We've got one more to put in. Drop zone four, please. Is that four, please? We can get it over. Come on, then, machine. I think we get it over, we might clear a fair few out of that bottom shelf. Right side. Oh, <laughs> every single one hard oh. on the right. Oh, Jess, that's cruel. But we'll take another £50. That takes you up to a very nice-looking £4,000. Back to the categories. We have one left, which is music. I think I'm going to go for three. OK. Let's see. Music for three. Which Scottish band had UK top ten singles with Mountains and Many of Horror? Travis, Texas or Biffy Clyro? I'm just trying to think. I've, I've heard of Travis and I've heard of Biffy Clyro. I haven't heard of the middle one. My gut feeling is um, Biffy Clyro. I'll go Biffy Clyro, please. Ben. OK, we're going to light up Biffy Clyro, please. Mountains and Many of Horror. Are they top ten singles for Biffy Clyro? Yes. Well done. Thank you. Three counters. What do you think? Maybe I'll try drop zone three, see if we can get it from a different angle. Give it a go. Let's yeah, see. why not? Drop zone three, please. Too far, maybe. OK, that could work, though, in terms of money. Yeah. Move the double forward a touch. <laughs> <laughs> now there's a dilemma. Two more to go. I'm going to try drop zone three again, see if I can get that double over. OK, so. drop zone three it is. Ooh, now. OK. That's right on the jackpot, typically. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> 
One more to go. Stay with three. I'm going to stay with three, just see if I can get the double. Come on, machine. Three up. Something it's over the top shelf. Is the silver one going to go? Oh. Can we finish Maybe. with the double going and some of its mates? Oh! oh. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> Nearly. Look how the close wobble. that is. So frustrating. One count did drop, so let's give you another £50. Pounds. I'm going to take you up to £4,050. So usually, Jess, at this stage, as I'm sure you know, I would offer you a trade. Three final counts of what you've got so far in the hope of getting the jackpot counter out. Given that you've already turned your back on the jackpot counter, mm -hmm. I think I know what you're going to say. I need to ask nonetheless. Yeah. Would you like to take the money or the trade? I'd like to take the money, please, Ben. Well done, Jess. Thank you. £4,050, the lovely amount of money. I'm hoping we'll go some way towards a few nice soft furnishings in the new place. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Not only that, you've won your bottomless brunch and picnic concert tickets as well. Fantastic. Enjoy Thank yourself. you so much. I've had an amazing day. It's been lovely to play alongside you. Thank you. There you go. Jess is leaving with £4,050. We'd have loved to have given her the jackpot. It looked great, didn't it, for a very long time. Except we just couldn't get it off the top shelf. So frustrating. Join us next time when the fate of three more players will hang in the balance on Tipping Point. Goodbye. <laughs>